Hello and welcome to all of you for this video session number 50. Students, in this session, we are going to discuss some other important problem. In this session, we are going to discuss and compute the taxable value of supply and then how the taxable value of supply would be calculated in the different transactions made by the registered dealer. So let me go through with the problem. Let me take you through this and then you will be able to understand. In this session, we are going to learn on the computation of the tax and the tax liability in the different taxable cases. Hagagi, question on now, read out Martini, calculate the GST payable by registered dealer in Bangalore for the following details. It was appeared for Bangalore University for the month of November 2018. Let me go through with this now. Sales made to a registered dealer in the Harvard. Any sales made by a registered dealer in the Harvard, the business is located in Bangalore. So it comes under intrastate transaction. Next, is a taxable amount. Amount is very clearly given, but the rate is not given. In this problem, we have been asked to calculate the taxable supply. And on that, we are going to calculate the tax liability. Anyway, so sales made to a registered dealer we are going to consider this as 525,000. We are going to record. Next, sale made to a registered dealer in Carvar. Yes, Carvar is also located within the state. So full amount we are going to record along with 525,000. Next, we whole 10,000. We take as it is. Amele, goods transferred to a branch in Mysore. The goods has been transferred to one of the branch in Mysore. The same amount will also be recorded as taxable supply. Uh, 1 lakh, 4 lakh, 10,000, and the next one, 5 lakh, 25,000. All these three important transactions are treated as taxable value of supply. Hence, we are going to record all these transactions while calculating the computation of the tax liability. Amela, next, now in TV. The following are the returns made by the dealer. Kelundu transactions are in the same way. I am sale the sale of goods. Return is the Returns are the dealer. Goods returned from a dealer of Dharwad, 50,000 within one month. The dealer of Dharwad, Dharwad Nelly dealer return on N Madana, five lakh twenty five thousand the sale Madana, a five lakh twenty five thousand only on N Madana, fifty thousand Manmoto on the Tingle Mun Volgadana, return Madana. Any goods returned by the dealer within six months, that amount shall be completely deducted while calculating the taxable value of supply. Yen a sale Madana. A sale Martha Kantaha good so a dealer agile at the customer agile or thing will get our return mark but on the returns and an hour less mark on TV calculation of taxable supply mark for other than an hour less mark TV. The next one, therefore, it has to be directed while calculating taxable value of supply. Goods returned from a dealer of Parvar 10,000 after eight months. See, he has made a sale of rupees for like 10,000 to a dealer in Carver, but he is returning these goods after eight months. Any goods which are returned after six months is not allowed as returns. Our thing will get on return money than Anta on the returns and an hour permissible and the Jato admissible less mark to be our thing will move that mila goods and a return money on the goods and an hour less mark for the other parigana model than the head. So this is the brief structural transactions that we can see. So with the help of this, we are going to compute the tax liability. So even an event mark to be first, we are going to. Record as solution, we are going to calculate as the calculation of the taxable supply. First, now taxable supply and a candidate, and then soon after that, we are going to calculate the GST payable by a dealer. Now, first, we are going to draw two important columns that is particular column as well as the amount column. In particular column, we are going to record all the sales made by this particular dealer. The first transaction made by the dealer that we are going to record here is the first one is sale made to a registered dealer is dharwa 525000 we are going to take 525000 so next after that we are going to record he has been sold certain goods to a dealer in karwar karwar is the he is selling the goods again that entire amount for 410000 is taxable hence it has to be added 4 lakh 10000 
next one goods transferred to a branch in mysore 1 lakh the goods has been transferred to a branch in mysore that entire 1 lakh is also termed as taxable supply so it has to be added while calculating the total amount so 10 lakh 35000 is the total amount anta na illi helti total amount of sales made anta na illi helti next term is adrinda na ven maatidivi we are going to deduct less goods returned any goods which are returned within the span of 6 months such goods will be treated as uh, allowable deduction since it has to be deducted aar tingal velgade yavdo ond goods sale madu ond return madbitre anta goods annu na ven maatidivi permissible deductions anta na treat madbitu adanna na ven maatidivi ee total value of sales alli na deduct maatidivi hagage first transaction goods return from a dealer of the around within 1 month ond tingal velgade avanu return madidan hagage idike eligibility sigutte 50000 we are going to deduct next one number 2 goods returned from a dealer of carwar so not eligible as it is returned after 6 months i have already uh, told you that if any goods are returned more than after 6 months or tingla aadmele goods anna return madidra anta goods mele naavu eligibility kododilla anta goods anna naavu dash tagododilla exempt athu kodutive therefore 235000 and 50000 naavu subtract madide we are going to get 9,85,000. So this is called as total taxable value of supply. On this total value of supply, we are going to calculate tax at the rate of 12%. We are going to get 1,18,200. In this problem, we have been asked to calculate the taxable value of supply. Once we calculate this, the ultimate thing that we are going to calculate is GST amount payable. So even the question of 14 marks here, it's very important. Uh, if you have any clarifications, easily you can post your comments in the comment box and then I'm going to come out with many more videos. Until then, thank you. Goodbye.